I asked my mom, I was like, which one do you like better, Disney World or Disneyland? And she's like, I honestly don't notice the difference. That's because she's a Disney kid, casual fan. She's not as hardcore as me. We did take my dad to Universal Studios, though. Actually, don't, don't, actually, don't, don't, don't worry so much because the celebrations from what everyone's been saying on the vlogs, on the video vlogs, are not that great. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, this one's safe. My phone is plugged in, so that way the battery will not die. In the Magic Kingdom and at Disneyland? Well, they're they're similar. They're similar, but I have to admit, I do like the castle more at Disney World than I do at Disneyland. The castle at Disneyland is such a disappointment. So small. Well, Disneyland in general, all Disney parks are really expensive. You're looking at about a hundred bucks a day at least. <laughs> Yeah, so she's never made it, she's so deprived. Oh my gosh, everybody That's deserves, <laughs> everybody deserves to go at least once to Disney World or Disneyland. Mm. It really is such a fun and magical and memorable experience. Disneyland is more The park? No, I think both Magic Kingdom and Disneyland are, are pretty similar. Magic Kingdom is more I tip Disneyland is a lot smaller. It's very, very cramped. Um, the Ooh. Oh, we should go buy some happy We should go buy the toys and then sell them on eBay for a thousand dollars. I just want to buy. Well they will sell you the toys. That's true. It probably cost you as much as the happy meal though. Well they didn't used to. But they probably do. Because McDonald's food is super unhealthy too. But it's so good. I was talking about it on Saturday with my um, Claudia, the model, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, even though you don't like McDonald's, but they're french fries, after, like, being away for such a long time, mm -hmm. as, like, out of the country, let's yeah. say, for example, mm -hmm. and you have McDonald's, it just feels like home. It's comfort. Because yeah. everything tastes the same at McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, California event! California event is tiny. There's nothing there. Oh, really? Yeah, it used to be the parking lot. Oh. Some people like it better, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think uh, California Adventure is, is worth a day. It's, there's only a few rides. Uh, McDonald's. Oh my gosh, McDonald's French fries are so good, and their smell. The smell of McDonald's french fries is just the devil. Hey, Mary, how are you? She says hello, Hi, thanks for joining us today. Do you like Burger King? No? Do you like McDonald's better? No. Or what about Whataburger? <laughs> What about In-N-Out? Oh, yeah. I think In-N-Out is so overrated. And their french fries are gross. Their yeah, french fries aren't very good. So They're soggy. Really, good. really? You like it? Yeah. What about Arby's? We have the meat. I don't know. I haven't been <laughs> in a long time. I, the last time I was at Arby's, it was in Arby's. I'm serious. Probably 30 years ago. Oh my gosh. Man, you need to go out and have you some roast beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other one's pretty good? Wendy's? Wendy's is okay. Wendy's, and what's another one? Let's see. The, uh, is the Habit a national chain or is it just a most? The Habit hamburger? Or Five Guys Burgers and Fries. We're going to start out with the Russian manicure drill bit set. We're going to use the flame bit from the Russian manicure. I'm going to begin to clean out all the crusty molesties. Okay. 
so good. Jack in the Box. Yeah. We have Jack in the Box still here. Popeyes. Oh, Clovers? Culver's. Culver's is expensive. But you know what? They are now. I went and I was getting like this. Mm -hmm. And it was $20. That's ridiculous. Very expensive. I was surprised. I was like, I thought this was not, All of them. But they're really clean though, inside. Right. Yes. So Some McDonald's, you go into a McDonald's and you're like, oh no, no thanks. <laughs> like, Nikki, I'm with you, but we don't say jacket. We don't say that. We, my brothers always say, Jack in the Crack. Jack in the Crack? <laughs> yeah, but she said they, they call it Jack in the Crack. Jack in the Crack. They used to have this thing called the Sampler Trio. And Jack in the Box, that was so good. I think the bad thing about Jack in the Box was it's so greasy. But I used to, I, I used to love, I love El Taco better than Taco Bell. I've never had Del Taco. No, El Taco. Oh. Is that a, a franchise or local? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've never had it. Doritos did too. Really? Yes. The brand Doritos? Yeah, they started at Disneyland. Hmm. So I'm using my cuticle scissors to go in and remove the dry non living tissue. Thank you, that's really sweet of you. Has anybody here on Facebook seen the Tammy Faye Baker movie? I haven't seen it. Oh, I was telling you, it's only at the loft. And my mom's like, I don't want to go. And I kind of don't want to really want to go to the loft either. And it's not on streaming, but it looks so good. Do you remember that theme park that they had, Barbara? Heritage USA? Oh, no. That's how they got caught. And I guess he had an affair with, oh, with his secretary or something like that? Oh, he was, he was Really? No, he got caught on that one. That was not the only one. Trust me. Poor Tammy Faye. Do you remember her daughter? No, I don't. I was going to say, I don't know if she's a doctor or not, because Tammy looks nothing like either or. But I do have to admit, I do like some Tammy Faye songs. She has one that sounds like it's disco music, but it's about Jesus Christ. And I was like, two of my favorite things. Disco music and Jesus Christ. Did you know anything else Did I want him to start? Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. It's the 15ml Fantasy Pink DIY gel is back in stock. This sold out actually the first day that we launched it, but we launched more today. So if you want to try the 15ml version of the Fantasy Pink, it's available now, all along with the 35ml. So I'm going to use the diamond prep bit to begin to prep the nail and remove the shine and also buff the skin. Okay, what's Jim Boy's What? I've never heard of Jimbo's. Is that a regional restaurant? 
Did you ever watch The Simpsons, Barbara? I went to uh, Krusty Burger in uh, Hollywood, uh, Universal Studios Hollywood. I, I had to have a Krusty Burger. Why? Tammy Faye was? Oh, Aww, but I think she generally was, uh, she had a nice soul, spirit, for the most part. I was reading, because I love reading YouTube comments, that is just a downward spiral. And then also, you know, when you're in a position of power, and I mean, they had so much money not paying tax, too. They didn't have to. I mean, I just wish I could get that status. Wouldn't that be nice? Tax is it. And everything is um, technically donations. You can get your Tammy Faye Baker CD for your donation of, you know, however much it was. Yeah. There you go, Bubba, we can do that. We'll get you a big old blonde wig. Yes, sir, yes, she was in her makeup. Good Lord, Ellen. <laughs> but that's oh what made God, her special. I really about those eyelashes. It looked like somebody had their fingers on her eyelids. Boy. <laughs> when I asked my mom, I, was, I asked her, I was like, do you know who Tammy Faye Baker is? And she was like, the eyelash lady? <laughs> uh, see? Exactly. What's the first thing? You saw the eyelash lady. And she wore, you know, for all the money she had, she wore really cheap makeup too. And like she's like, I gotta have to swamp me. Look, uh, yeah, I guess you grew up pretty poor, huh? They were both Bible thumpers, not the good kind. Bible. But she didn't like it. But she died really, really sick too. The throat cancer really ate her away. I saw the last interview she did, and coincidentally the interview was one day before she passed, and she was really, really with her. It was really sad to watch. But it was nice to see that she, you know, she still had her spirit to, to uh, get her makeup, you know, all. I like watching like those uh, Christian shows on television, the televangelist. Mm -hmm. Their sets are like somebody's living room. I never got that. Why they didn't like that? Mm -hmm. Why don't you do one hand spooky and then one hand cute? Or uh, one and one, like one nail cute and then one hand spooky. I mean, one the other nail spooky. Oh yeah. Or you can go ahead, Barbara, while I work. No, no, you go ahead, Barbara. Talking about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys saw all the cuticle work I did, and you know that we re recently launched the BBC, the B not the British Broadcasting Corporation, <laughs> but the Bye Bye Cuticle Cream, which was also the BBC stands for. Barbara Brown Cuticle, which was a product that I developed specifically originally for Miss Mosey's Cuticle because Barbara has always had really thick cuticles and hers is genetic, not so much um, uh, circumstantial. She was born with it. So we developed a very, very hypoallergenic vegan formula with a very light scent. And it's really going to make a huge difference, especially after two weeks of use. You use this at least once a day. All you do is open it up, get the applicator, squeeze a little bit out, and then rub it in and you're good to go. And I would use it probably every day at night, if you're only going to use it once a day. 
And you can also retail it to your customers as well too. So we're gonna use the pink magic monomer, which is the fast dry, which actually now is purple. And then of course, the famous eternal beige or coat. Awesome. And thank you for waiting, you guys. You already know that the, uh, the hiring pandemic all over the country has been really, really terrible. So we're doing our best to hire good people. Look at that acrylic, it just lays like butter. And today there was no mail. <laughs> Oh yeah, happy feral uh, holiday, you guys. I know. Yes, you guys know that. Some people call it Columbus Day, other people call it Indigenous Peoples Day, other people call it Native American Day. I call it federal holiday. Just to be politically correct. into their clips. So let's give it a Yeah, let's show you guys really quickly again the colors. And then has anybody seen the new Candyman movie on Facebook? I don't think anybody saw it on Instagram, did they? No, no, no one has seen it. How many times? Oh, how did she like it? Because um, it's his last movie. Well, hopefully they don't make it to... Um, I hope the new Bond, whoever's going to be the new Bond, is kind of in line with, the, with the, the tradition. No, they're not consecutive. They all, they're not, um, each Bond movie is different. It's independent. You just ruined the movie for everybody, Barbara. I don't know he died. <laughs> no, I don't like 007 movies. But they were saying how bad it is that he's a womanizer, but that's part of the, the character. Aren't they beautiful? That's what I heard. Tony Todd is his name. Tony Todd, he's really good looking too. Flesh of Vampires, that's what he would say. Oh, the hero says she saw it, she was disappointed that it wasn't scary. That that's what I said. But it was the, the social commentary theme of the movie was too heavy versus it being scary. Yeah. Which is sad. I wanna I wanna be scared. Yeah. And they said like all the killing scenes, they happen off camera, like off. So then, what's the point? We want gore. We want blue. Yeah, I think for a pandemic, you kind of expect all that the good. In the movie. Yeah, the Exactly. Yeah. The bees and the honey and eating of the flesh. So we have to wait for this to dry. How do you know when acrylic is dry? It'll sound like a hard boiled egg. Ooh. 
So I would do with purple and green, it just feels very witchy to me. Do some of the cute witch ones, that would be really pretty. And then something black to add more dimension to it. And some gold sequins, and then you're good to go. You'll see them right now, we're going to use the number one, which is the bigger silver sequence on the free edge to do an ombre, and then we're going to add some uh, Prismal Glitter sequence, just to give it more and more oomph. Because they are really short, and Barbara's going out to the Big B, aka Baltimore, Maryland, for an art gallery. Are you going to wear a long gown, Barbara? No. Really? It's not black tie? No. Boo. But aren't black tie events so much fun? They are. Oh, the, I think it's the gold base, base one. And Bon Bon Joe, we actually decided to sell them open stock and in a set. So, um, the first set, volume one, for the Stardust collection, is available either a la carte or as a package. About uh, Candyman. I want to see Tony Todd more. I mean, especially when a character is so iconic, like Can Tony Todd is Candyman. And then you replace it with someone else. They either have to really do something completely different with the character or try to, to mimic it. But I think in this one, we wanted more. Like Freddy Krueger. They replaced Freddy Krueger and it was it was somebody else. A Hellraiser, you remember Hellraiser, right? Yeah. So the new one is a woman. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> She's giving us the Sanderson Sisters Hocus Pocus realness with that name. Yeah. Those colors. Purple, green, and black just feel very like fun and vibrant Halloween colors. Yeah. Oh, that's the pink one. I think that's number four. So now I'm using the power top bit to blend out the shape of the one, two, three, go. So yeah, so Hellraiser is going to be a woman now. Mm -hmm. Pinhead. Oh, that's going to be I don't know, because the guy was so iconic. He was. Uh, green. <laughs> they were very curvy. Yes. And yellow. No, it didn't freeze. My phone died. I forgot to charge it. And it's going to be on Hulu, the new Hellraiser. It's not going to have a theatrical release straight to uh, streaming. So I'm very curious to see what the female pinhead will look like. Woo! They finished filming the new Scream. It comes out in January. Yes, yeah, Scream 5. I don't know. Because you know, when a movie comes out in January, that means it's a pretty crappy movie. Now we're using the verse bit to go in and really blend in that cuticle.
Yes, for sure. I totally agree. How fun. And I love um, a good shade of purple. And the purple from the Halloween collection that we launched this year is really beautiful. It's a really good fall uh, collection. So right now we're just going in also with the first bit, cleaning everything out on the inside. Do you remember the Leprechaun movies, Barbara? Mm -hmm. They were freaky. I wonder if Mary Campbell was in this game. She is! She is, she is, but... Um, from what I know, uh, it's more like a passing the torch kind of movie, if you will. Which I don't like those. It's like, let's keep the franchise going, but let's get cheaper actors to do it. Like, that's what's gonna happen in the new Ghostbusters movie, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's ready. She's ready to go trick or treating. Are you gonna go trick or treating? No. Oh, Who said that? Because well, we're spoiling the movie? But it's Halloween. Ooh, and Resident Evil, the new Resident Evil movie. Resident Evil movie comes out next month, and that looks really good. And this one is more based on the video games in the previous franchise, which I like. So I need to look for that. I used to. Oh, I got a handheld system, a console. I did, and it has like 16,000 or something like that games already preloaded on it. Yeah, so it's... But the only thing is that the, the video game console is so small, it makes my hands cramp because it's too small for my big ol' uh, baseball glove hands, mittens. So now we're just going to go in with the smoothie buffer, and for the top of the nail it's nice and smooth. So I can only play for a little while. But I'm not super into video games. Not like when I was younger, I think it was. But I think for a lot of people, a lot of men and women, they love gaming. It's a way for them to uh, de-stress and escapism, I guess. Huge industry. And I can see how you can get sucked into it and just have to become a downward spiral. Are you gonna pass out candy too? Do you pass out candy, Barbara? I do. Yeah. Especially if somebody would come. People don't come where I live. No? Mm -mm. Even the kids that live in the complex. They don't trick or treat there. Really? I don't know where they go. I think the parents put them in cars and take them somewhere. <laughs> Did people trick or treat last year? I think so. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't think so. I don't remember. I can't remember either. Because, you know, we were knee deep in the pandemic. So, I don't know. Karen says, I'm 58 playing Zelda on my Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. You're never too old to play. <laughs> never too old to play. So I tried playing Mario 64 because the, the console I got has Super Mario 64, but I got dizzy. Put me to sleep. Uh, Antonio says that they're, they're huge gamers. Really? They're all the gaming systems. So this console that I bought has a whole bunch of like really, really old games, like stuff that came out before I was born. Like, uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Centipede. No, like uh, Atari and uh, well, Calico. Have a on it. Probably. Calico and Intellivision and Pong. and all these other stuff. Does it have Pong? 
Probably. It has a whole bunch of really old games that I had never heard of. Nikki says she plays. She starts at 5 a.m. The next thing you know, it is 10 p.m. Time goes quick when you're playing video games. Wow, you just get sucked into it. Yeah. We didn't go last year, and I love having... Oh, okay, Amanda says she didn't go last year. That's good. It sounds like it'll be fun. I remember I used to go to the cheating when I was a kid. Oh my god, me too. We used to go to the mall. That was the place to be at the mall. Because that you would get the best candy. But I remember the last time. Mm-hmm. We would leave as soon as it got dark. And we wouldn't get back home until about midnight. Wow. From the, from from the mall? No, from Super Oh my gosh. This color is 1813, which is a beautiful, like just a lip gloss pink, just to add some color to the nail bed. And this is actually the same exact color as Fantasy Pink. Mm. I was a hundred years ago. Sonic, do you remember Sonic, Barbara? Uh -huh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Street Fighter. pistachio ombre brush and we're just going to do a really light gradient.
seconds. I had Hi Sue. I had a Dreamcast, I had a PlayStation, I had a Sega Saturn, I had a PlayStation 2 and an Xbox. And I had a Wii too, but I never played with it. I never could get into it. Really? Too much. Now that was supposed to be fun, but it was too physical. Yeah. Too much moving. No too. thanks. And Xbox, I didn't like the original Xbox because there wasn't that many fighting games on it. PlayStation 2 had tons of fighting games. Oh. So we're going to add a little bit of Prisma. We're going to use Dom Top, which is our oh, thick hard gel top coat. That is so pretty. Isn't this lovely? Super slot on soft. Yeah, I wish we would have done stickers, but Barbara wanted silver. Cook said she had a Game Boy. <laughs> I had a, a Game Boy. The Game Boy Color is the one I have. Good feedback. They were part of history with that one. Yes, the Game Boy Color was purple transparent, that's when I had So do they still make Game Boy now, or is that Nintendo, whatever it is, the new Game Boy? Can you imagine that? It's like the kid's ultimate dream. Yeah. You got all these games for you. And then you get to tell them what you like and what you don't like. Yeah. And then your mom let you play for a long time because you were testing. Whereas, I'm telling you. Put it down. Had, yeah, they only had so much time. Did they get paid for it? Well, they got to keep all the games. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what else do they want? They probably didn't even care. They didn't even care. And if they would have gotten paid for it, they would have spent it on video games. Yeah. Game Boy. That's something to think about. The Barbara Movie Game Boy. But I think that um, like the newer systems, they're marketed, I feel more adult-like, if you will. For like a, I don't want to say the casual gamer, but they definitely look more adult than toys. I think that I was watching this like YouTube documentary about Nintendo, and the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo look really different from the Japanese models because, do you remember the original Nintendo? It kind of looked like a VCR player. Yeah. And they did that on purpose because they thought American people would have wanted it to look like a toy, like the Japanese one. No, it was Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy DS, which is the double screen one. That was making me do things. And then, is it Switch now? I don't know. It's a lot. And expensive. You gotta save up to buy your kids video games.
Even still now to this day. How much is a PlayStation 5? It's a few hundred dollars, I think. I want to say it's at least close to $500 for a PlayStation 5 or something like that. So I'm just one more coat of the on top. Aren't they dope? This is the brand new Bomb Bomb Shell series. But is it now true that the video games are not like actual games anymore? They're everything streamed? Or how does that work now? Your kids buy their own video games now. Yeah, they play them. <laughs> That's kind of good though. Have... You can play video games and you can afford them. Yeah. I don't think they have fun. Especially probably um, with work and everything. Yeah. So she has other hobbies. definitely see how it is on um, a good form of escapism for people. Yeah. Some people like uh, movies, mm -hmm. cooking, some people love to cook, sewing. Do you like um, those like uh, lady books? Yeah, I like like uh, <laughs> Mom, it has a great Mom. yes. Yeah. Really Barbara? Trashy books? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But you know, after you read something, you, you don't need to care about this. That's what it's going to be like that. Mm -hmm. You care about the relationships. relationships. And so most of these writers put their own perspective. So, like misery? Really? All of them? There's six Fifty Shades of Grey books? That's why I heard the movie is so hard to uh, translate it from book to movie because it doesn't translate well. Yeah, but I like the first movie, so now the movie is... It comes out in December, I think. Yeah. The Space Opera or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to be there You can check it out now. I used to crochet a lot. I heard that's very like knitting, right? Like. Well, it's it, it always it's with yarn, but you have a hook. It's not too neat. Oh.
Cuticle oil on, and she's good to go. That's awesome. Like horror fiction. Beautiful. Look how pretty that is, you guys. That is beautiful. I must say, I'm loving it. So sparkly. Well, my loves, that's going to be a wrap for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys get a chance to check out the new Bonbon bon series at emocouture.com. Yes. And thanks for coming out today, Miss Mosley. All right. Everybody stay Good safe. Luck. Stay out of trouble, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.